Hello again, welcome to the African Emergency Room. Still on COVID-19, what has the hospital been able to do at this time? All the hospitals around, there, there is a level of, um, some level of adjustment that the hospitals have been able to put in place in order to help curtail the spread of this virus. You would, you would note that in most of our public hospitals, there's usually this large crowd all the time. Yes, because these are the cheap, cheapest hospitals to go to. So if you come to the Atenata clinics, there's a lot of people. You go to the general outpatient, there's a lot of people. Every day, there is always a crowd in these hospitals. So, but at this period, hospitals are trying to decongest the place, okay? So that you don't come with a slight headache and go, go home with a big COVID, you understand? So there is this decongestion that hospitals are trying to do. Now you have to limit things that take you to the hospital, okay? You have to make use of the information you have about certain things about your health. We know that malaria is endemic in our country, even in the whole sub-region, West African sub-region and the whole of Africa, there's this thing about malaria. So already you should know how to get malaria treatment immediately you feel you're going to have malaria or your child is having malaria. So that if symptoms persist after a day or two, then you know you need to see a doctor, okay? If you are pregnant and you attend Atenata clinic, very good. You must, you must make sure you register for the Atenata. But I'm sure your doctors and your midwife may have told you, have increased the timing so that you don't frequently come for Atenata VC. They may have spaced it out for you and they may have given you numbers to call so that if you have a little issue, except when you have a major issue, that is when you should go to the hospital. So all these have been put in place to decongest the hospital. You don't go there and sit around. They may not have the space to give you one, one meter apart or two, two meters apart. They may not have the space. So they are trying to decongest these places. Go to the hospital when it is absolutely necessary. There was a trend we noticed. There's a lockdown in the society. There are people who are not used to lockdown. So they are staying at home. They are so bored. Where else? Where can I go? Where can I go? I need space. Where can I go? Hospitals are working. Then they come. They don't care how long it will take the doctors to see them. They just sit down there, they cross their legs and they're pressing their phone. They're walking around the hospital, they're taking fresh air. <laughs> Please, I'm not trying to tell you what to do when you're bored. This is not the best thing to do. The hospital is not the best place for you to go and while away time or to go when you don't absolutely need to see a doctor. Because some people who have some other symptoms, they may not know they have COVID except they are tested. They may come around and you're touching surfaces, you're passing around, you do not know but you are picking up something you're not supposed to take. So please do not come to the hospitals except it is absolutely necessary. I'm sure you have phone numbers of healthcare workers. You can call for advice when some certain things are happening. And please, healthcare workers, pick up your calls when your friends and family members or your patients are calling you. This is the time to use every other means to help people. Decongest your hospitals, please. Thank you.